I don't think as a kid I knew there was a second Ghostbusters movie. I mean, for me, uh, Ghostbusters was all about Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. I really love Stay Puft, and obviously he shows up in the first movie. But the second movie, when I did get a chance to see it, it it's an interesting movie. I don't know that it's as good as the first one, but it's filled with a lot of really funny uh, Bill Murray one-liners. Now, a lot of people give it a lot of hate compared to the first movie, but it's still a valuable movie. It's still funny, it's still enjoyable. Um, and Vigo, the Carpathian, is a very frightening villain. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Game or Grub, Game or Grub. Uh, game or Grub, yeah. Game or Grub. My name is Brandon Specht, I'm the main guru here at Retro Spectrum. And I'm Matt Heimerl, head honcho at Cash Revive. And today, we're going to be looking, we're going to be delving back into the world of Ghostbusters. Specifically Ghostbusters 2. We're going to be playing Ghostbusters 2 for the NES. Versus the Ghostbusters Twinkie from Hostess. Yes! Yes! According to this morning sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big Twinkie. Yeah, this is really exciting for us. <laughs> if you don't know, we love, two things we love, retro video games and junk food. Yep. yep. And we thought, why not compare them together it's a brilliant video. Idea. See which one, which one reigns supreme. So we're underground right now. We just went and found the sludge that was in the oh, that's cool. It's like you can arc stuff and you can see it come back down. So when it leaves the screen, I will say visually too, this game already looks really good compared to the original. The NES graphics. Oh no, the little bar on the bottom with the slime all around it. Oh come on! All right. Okay, interesting. Let's see how I do. I like the range of motion for, for firing. It's not yeah. like a little bit here. You can literally angle it a pretty good amount. And, and the, so contro that, the controls, too, are very responsive. They are very responsive. For, for a Nintendo game? Yeah. All right. So now we're on another driving. Except your car can jump. Your car can. Oh, no. Chris. So in the, we went from, in the original NES game, we went from Grand Theft Auto, or what was the comparison you made? Um, uh, Spy Hunter. Spy Hunter. We went from Spy Hunter to Excite Bike. <laughs> Every. Oh, jeez! Alright. I think I, I, I kind of messed that up. This is intense. I don't know if I'm supposed to get to. How do you get another, that another power? There, you see that one up there? Ooh! Ooh. Firework. Do it! No! I pressed the wrong button! Ah! What are you even supposed to do there? It's, it just says jump. It's just what I, I shot the. I pressed the. Music actually reminds me a little bit of Ice Climber right now. Yeah, it does. Whoa! Yes. What is this? They're throwing some battle toes at you here. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! It moved it. It moved it. You see the arrow uh. moved. What kind of garbage is that? And that's a game over. Here you go. Beat me up, Scotty. Give me the smirk. <laughs> Brutal. All right, so there's our first experience with Ghostbusters 2. What about the Twinkie? I want to shout out big thanks to my buddy at View From The Cheek Seats on YouTube, because he actually gave me the heads up on where to find this. Uh, these Twinkies, and we got the last three boxes nice. of Twinkies. So, uh, if you get a chance, show them some love, subscribe to View from the Cheap Seats. Thanks a lot, buddy, for showing us where to pick up these Twinkies. Now, there are two flavors, so we actually get to do a twofer. We actually get to try two different flavors. The first, the one that was heavily promoted, was the Key Lime Twinkie. Interesting. I don't, that's not, that's not really as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Um, green filling on the inside, as you would expect. Why else would you make a key lime? But it actually tastes a lot like a normal Twinkie with just a little bit of lime to it. Yeah. These next ones look like it's gonna give me a sugar overdose. All right. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, these ones were a surprise. White fudge Twinkies. 
They don't look like Twinkies. They look like something totally different. Yeah. But I'm anxious to try. Tell them about the Twinkie. Tastes like a Twinkie on the inside, but that candy coating on the outside is legit. Not bad at all. I'm glad I got a couple boxes of those. And the three things we're going to be looking at for this uh, particular video is visuals, innovation, and overall enjoyment. All right, so let's start out with visuals. Uh, you want to talk about the game? Visuals of the game. I thought the visuals of the game were actually really cool. Mm -hmm. You know, they had a lot, a lot of different things going on, especially on the on the first screen, like colors wise yeah. and things like that. Visuals for the Twinkies. Now, I, it's Twinkie, so Twinkies yeah. always look good for me. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. And they, and they all look the same pretty much, except for the, the oh, this one was completely different because it's completely covered. In right. Blue. What did you think when you saw a white, white fudge Twinkie coming at you? A heart attack. And I yeah. loved it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was kind of impressed by that. But I think overall, I think uh, I, visually, I was most surprised by the NES game. So I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the visual category uh, uh, for to to the NES game for this one. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, and so number two, innovation, innovation. Um, the game, the game itself. What do you think about the game as far oh, as gameplay? No, I thought it was great because I love the fact that you know a lot of those games you had pretty standard. Like shoot forward, yeah. shoot up, but you, you could really aim, and it wasn't just like a static shot where it went off screen. You actually could arc your shots. That's absolutely so true. So a lot of really interesting ways to um, to fight and stuff like that, and then the vehicle, the jumping and the shooting. I mean, there was stuff in the air as well as the guys on the ground. You had to kill. So it was a they lot seem to take some ideas from other games, but kind of give it its own spin. So yeah, I did, I did like that. Yeah, I agree. I think that the key lime Twinkie had tasted a little bit more like key lime. Right, it, I, no, it would it have been tasted, like, you took that key lime flavor yeah, and it was, put it in with it. Guys, it's it's a Twinkie with just a little bit of lime to it. Yeah. So it's and not, it's green. It was green. That was cool though. Yeah, that was cool. I mean, if you were to close your eyes and eat it and not know, you would be like, that tastes like key lime to me. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 pretty close. I mean, I actually had a lot of fun. I like because you know. I, I compared it to Battletoads and, and that and that, that yeah. second stage. Like it's it's unforgiving and when you die, you're back to the beginning. Yeah. There's no checkpoints. I I like and hate that kind of yeah, thing no, at the same no, time. Absolutely, so absolutely. it's kind of frustrating. I'm like, okay, I didn't beat that board. I kinda of wanna go back and beat it, but at the same time I really want another Twinkie. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> so, that's true. But, so you think overall enjoyment, would you put it on the Twinkie side or would you put it on the video game side? I honestly don't know. That's uh this is a tough one. It is a tough one. All right, so I mean, probably head and head. Yeah, I, honestly, I mean, this is this is this is pretty this is pretty close because I want both. Like again, yeah. Like I want I want to do it both again. So it, this, <laughs> I guess I guess all we can say is we're gonna leave it up to you guys. What do you guys think? Have you experienced any of these things? Have you experienced the Ghostbusters two game? Have you experienced? either of these Twinkies, uh, let us know in the comments section below and let us know what you think. For us, in this episode, it's kind of a draw. If you guys haven't seen our last video, which was Ghostbusters versus, the original Ghostbusters for the NES versus Ecto Cooler, make sure you check that one out because that one did have a clear Cut winner. winner. Yeah. yeah, did have a clear winner. So if you haven't had a chance, check that one out as well. And until then, We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.